We're in Windows 10. Let's take a look at how we can join our Windows 10 client computer to an Active Directory domain. Now, it doesn't matter what version of Active Directory you're using, anywhere from 2008, 12, 16, 19, as far as the server goes, this all works the same. So we've got our VirtualBox Windows 10 computer. And what we want to do is we want to make sure, first off, that we're both running on the same type of network. So we go to Machine, Settings, we're going to go to Network, and we'll make sure that we're on the internal network. And also make sure your cable is connected. All right, once that's done, go ahead and do the same thing over on the Windows Server. Go to Network, say it's internal, and cable is connected. So we're good to go. All right, let's choose the next option we need to do, and that is make sure that we're on the same subnet. So we're going to go uh, right-click and choose a command prompt, and we're going to choose IP config. And we see we're on a 192.168.15 network. Let's go over to the Windows Server, and we see we're on a 192.168.0 network. So we obviously need to make a change before they're going to be able to communicate. So let's go ahead and right click and go to Network and Sharing Center. And we'll change the adapter settings. And go to Properties. And we'll just go ahead and change this to be 0 0.250. We also want to make sure the DNS server matches our server. So we know our server is 0 0.1. So we need to change that as well. So let's go ahead and go back in and change that to 1 and click OK. All right, now let's check to see if we can ping from our client into our server. So we'll go ahead and ping 192.168.0.1. And it looks like we can, so we're in good shape. And let's go ahead, and if we want to try to ping from the uh, server back to the client, then we have to do one additional thing, and that is to open up the uh, firewall on the client. So if we go back to our client, we can see that it's timing out. So we just open up our control panel. Let's go to all control panel items, Windows firewall, advanced. Click on inbound rules. Scroll down to where it says file and printy, printer sharing echo request. And then just highlight all of those right click and choose enable and once those are green now if we go back to our server we should be able to ping oh, there it is we we're able to ping our dot 250 address so basically we just unblocked the firewall on our windows 10 computer so it's not necessary to do that just to join the computer but if you want to confirm communication then that is how you do it all right so our next thing we want to do is we want to go and join the computer to the domain so let's go back to control panel I like to go to the All Icons and click on System. Now we'll go ahead and click on Change Settings. And then we'll go to where it says Change on the right-hand side. And we're going to change our, client, our computer name to just Client. We don't want the default name as it's kind of long. And we're going to change our domain name to be what the domain name is on the server. Now, if you're not sure what that is, it's pretty easy to find out. You just go into Server Manager in the server, and again, it doesn't matter what version you're using. Go into Active Directory Users and Computers, and you should see the domain. There it is right there, widgetllc.internal. So we go back to our Windows 10 computer, and we see it matches. Let's go ahead and click OK. And we should get a prompt for the username and password. And there it is. Let's go ahead and type in administrator and the password for our domain and click OK. This will both change the name of our computer as well as join us to the domain at the same time. Now we should get a message, uh, the next message to say welcome to the domain and then we need to restart. But let's take a look at a couple of troubleshooting uh, things that we can do as well if for some reason you get an error at this point where you try to join the domain. And there's our message, welcome to the domain, click OK. And then we'll click OK again. 
and close. We'll restart later. So let's say you get an error saying that it cannot find the domain. There's a couple things you can do. First, let's go back into Network and Sharing Center. And if you have an updated version, just look for the spot where it says Change Ethernet Settings. Go ahead and click on Change Adapter Settings and right click, go to Properties. And then make sure you uncheck TCP IP version 6, but only on the client. For some reason, uh, it's too long to go into now, but it has to do with private IP addressing. If you leave this checked, sometimes it'll look for the server and Active Directory using version 6, which is not going to be on the same subnet as the server's version 6. Now, if you set this statically and you set it to match on both sides like we did on TCP IP 4, then that'll work fine. But in this case, we, there's just no need to do it. So just uncheck version 6, and then that'll take care of that. You also want to double check in version 4 that you haven't made any typos, because that's a real common thing. You think you got it all set right, and you'll see your 168s typed with 16 or 68 without the 1, something like that. That's a real common thing as well. And the other thing we want to check is the machine and settings. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of times people forget to change this to internal as well as make the cable connected. Let's go ahead and restart our client. And when it comes back up, we should be able to log into the domain. Now this next part is important as well because the default login name may not be the one that you want to use to log into your client. So we we'll want to make sure that we change it to be the one we want. Let's go ahead and take a look and we see sure enough, it's going to try to log us back in locally to the computer. That does not get us on the domain. So we want to click on other user and type in widget LLC backslash administrator or whatever username you have on the domain that you want to use, but by default it's going to be administrator. And then put in our password for the administrator on the domain and hit enter. Now it's going to log us in for the very first time onto the domain. So we're going to get a completely different desktop. So if there's anything that you want from your old desktop, you'll have to browse to it using File Explorer and then drag it over to the desktop on this one. So we are now logged into our domain, and we can check that just by going to our command prompt and typing who am I. Enter. And it says we're Widget LLC Administrator, which means we are on the domain. So that's how we join a Windows 10 computer. It'll also work on Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 7, although the menus might look a little bit different, to an Active Directory domain.